Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here, back with another daily cryptocurrency technical analysis video. So in today's video guys, I'll, be, I'll start off with looking at Bitcoin and some of the major cryptocurrencies. Then I'll be talking about some of the coins suggested by the subscribers of this channel. Uh, VeChain, Neblio, Omisigo, MCO and a few other coins that has been suggested. And then at the end of the video, I'll be talking about some of the coins that could be breaking out this week. So I'm sure you'll be interested to see that. So some of the coins that are looking very interesting are Link and DLT. Um, so I'll be talking about them at the end of the video. If you want me to cover any coins that you've bought that you like fundamentally and you want me to do a technical analysis video, make sure you subscribe and comment below to let me know and I'll cover them in my next video. So guys, let's start off with Bitcoin. Bitcoin dumped and it wasn't looking pretty. It didn't respect that resistance level. It respected that and then it dumped again over the weekend and it wasn't looking great. I posted a chart. Let's have a look where my chart is. I posted this chart. This is what I was looking at. Um, it did dump uh, from here to, to near that box level. I was looking at that level because potentially there could be a Gartley pattern. Um, I will probably make another detailed video on it. So that that is what, what I was looking at for it to dump there. It did dump but it didn't hit my level. Um, I posted this and then after a bit it, it did uh, dump to near my level so for Bitcoin longer term view there are probably two a couple of scenarios that I, I am looking at one scenario is that um, it it hits that level, forms like a triangle, kind of maybe A, B, C, D, E for the Elliott Wave um, technical analyst and then it breaks down to the lows before we have that leg up that we were expecting, that bull run and it could bottom around 2000, 2600. I've talked about some of the levels that I'm looking at. Again, no one knows. If I knew where Bitcoin would bottom, then I'd be a millionaire. I wouldn't, yeah, you know, I'd be, I'd have a lot of money. People would pay me a lot of money for it. That Those are just my thoughts. Another scenario is we could have like a a, B, C, D, because usually it's corrective patterns are two waves up. You can uh, look it up. Maybe I'll do an, a, a tutorial video if people are interested. So that's where it kind of goes up. That's another level that I'm looking at. And you can see there's some previous price action. Another scenario which I don't think uh, that likely is we go up to right up to that level and then we crash down so those are a few scenarios and um, this is I'm not I'm on, I'm on a different trading view account so I haven't got those level on this uh, on this trading view account maybe I'll do another video and explain to you my full um, I've got on my personal account I've got them levels drawn out as well so this is for YouTube purposes Th that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin currently guys I'm not in a Bitcoin position I did play an Ethereum position I posted it on my Twitter so I posted this about three hours ago when I was shorting it and then that was a nice little trade. Um, I'm still in, I'm still in a small position. Um, I'll probably close it out. It's not really moving that much. Um, but yeah, that was a nice little trade. Nice nice little profit. Um, it's just just little scalp that but they all count. I, I still think it will have probably another uh, leg down it looks like it will probably be around that level that i'm looking at yeah you can see a uh, fib level as well so probably around that level it, it will fall down to but i've taken some profits anyway it's always good to take profits so that's what i'm looking out for them guys it's not really that interesting i wouldn't look to buy or sell around here we still kind of um, are above our moving averages i suppose um so i wouldn't sell here but it's not looking that great for for bitcoin so those are my thoughts on Bitcoin but one great thing is when Bitcoin is moving sideways or it not, it's not dumping it's a great opportunity to trade altcoins and today I, I've been quite busy with trading Forex and other markets so I've not really traded as much um, cryptocurrencies um, but there, are, there have been some really really good opportunities this one probably was the best one DLT uh, Agrello was on fire guys um, I will look at your um, suggested ones guys i'm just talking about agrello quickly because this this looks mate this is a crazy coin i don't know if any of you bought it i i i i didn't have a time to buy it um, i just saw it one of my uh, twitter friends told me about this and i looked it up and it was just like it just was on fire um, so yeah there are definitely opportunities tron is another opportunity so when bitcoin moves sideways guys you could easily uh, once one tip is go on coin market cap um, and then just yeah look for coins that are up on the 24 hour volume and look at coins that are doing quite well and then go into them you could look for a short position or buy on the pullback uh, that's something that i do it's a quick tip that i, I wanted to give you guys 
So uh, let's look at the, some of the requested coins by the subscribers. One of them is V Chain. Um, I, I have had a look at these guys. That a lot of them are not looking that great. Um, if you are in them, I probably wouldn't sell. But to be honest, guys, it, it's not looking looking that great. So always start off on the very high time frame, and you can see, guys, on the weekly, it's just been battered. We've not seen two green candles in a row for um for six for for ages and it's not looking great guys and um, buying at these levels is is not great you could look into like a short scalp um but for long term holds we don't know if the bottom is in or not one thing that is going on uh, well for v chain is the double bottom which is good support we've seen a uh, bottoming pattern double bottom are strong patterns but it didn't break the previous high so i'm not sure how valid that is so it's not i wouldn't sell it i wouldn't buy it around here if you ha if you have some you can um you can hold it until it breaks down breaks below this level if it breaks and holds and there's price acceptance there i would definitely get out um for now it could probably keep carry on moving up it's above the hourly or four hourly moving averages just above the four hourly moving averages there will be some resistance here the 50 percent fibonacci level and then uh, previous resistance um, so that's what I'm looking at for VG and I wouldn't look to trade it for now. Again, I might be wrong guys. This is not my strategy. Um, so it could go up, it could go down. I wouldn't buy or sell at these levels. My bias would be towards Bitcoin. Keep an eye out for Bitcoin guys. If Bitcoin is moving sideways and you see very, very good pattern, then you could look to buy. Um, one level I would look to buy VG and is if it moves up and then consolidates around this level and breaks out, you could uh, try and buy the breakout for a uh, for a decent profit but one thing i would say is guys it takes a lot of time if you are an investor then i suppose you you hold or huddle if you are a trader there there might be better opportunities than trying to trade v chain um neblio let's have a look at Let neblio let's start off with weekly again as you can see it looks better than vchain it does look better than vchain it's bounced off the 6618% level previous resistance yeah it, this doesn't look too bad there could be if it breaks above it it's moved the big green candle i would like a bit more volume a bit more volume would be better to see but this is not looking too bad i wouldn't trade it now but if it can get above uh, the moving averages and this resistance line then yeah this could be a decent buy up to that level so neblio is not too bad you can see it's almost a double bottom here as well it's it's got higher higher lows and higher highs again if you don't know about technical analysis a simple thing is is the charts performing higher highs and higher lows if it is is good if you if, you, if i go back to v chain guys it wasn't looking it, it wasn't looking like like this chart so that's why i wasn't uh, too interested in v chain yeah as you can see guys it, it's not making higher highs it's, it's from the lower high so that's uh, neblio is looking better than v chain if you are ne on neblio or you could be looking to trade neblio on the ba breakout it's not looking too bad amusigo was one of the suggestions as well Again, it's not looking that great a mes ago. It is on a resistance, as you can see. Again, you, some people like to buy it for a higher risk to reward ratio because uh, if it breaks down, you sell. But there is a potential that you could be buying the bottom. Um, so if you own it, I wouldn't sell it here um, and then see if it can break above it. It's not a high probability trade, but if you, if you own it, this is your last chance that it doesn't break down. If it breaks down, then yeah, it could. It, it won't be looking pretty for a mes ago. So I wouldn't even go into the smaller time frames. Uh, from again the smaller time frames as you can see just lower high lower highs and lower lows and lower highs it's not looking great for for a, a mes ago mco was one of the requests this chart doesn't look too bad again doesn't look too bad it's still bad because it's it's on a downtrend it's not good but compared to some of the other other currencies it's not as bad i'd say uh, where's my levels gone oh, let's uh, i think i was trading it on binance there we go so he's trying to break above his daily moving averages so we'll have to see how that how that works again it needs to so you need to if you are if you're looking to buy it buy it above this for a small trade
but I wouldn't buy it until it goes above probably this 50% level. So if you buy it above this break, I'd sell half of mine here and then uh, see if it can break above it. If it can break above the 50% level, um, there's quite a bit of resistance here as well. So if it can get above these resistances, I like it to the top. There's um, longer fib level levels there as well. So it's not too bad. Um, you see if it's holding this level. If if it's holding this trend line, um, then you could look to buy it, and it's decent risk to reward. I'm not sure if it's high probability or not, but it's, it's decent risk to reward uh, MCO. But yeah, it's not too bad, guys. So out of the out of the request, it only. Um, one or two are looking good not um maybe nebula was looking slightly good and rest of them weren't looking great so tron guys it's on a f tron is on fire guys i'm sure it will form an equilibrium but I did say that it could break out and um, where's my i didn't i didn't buy tron um if you're wondering but yeah i did pose that could tron have another breakout and yeah when coins break out like tron and xrp where these coins are fomo coins people love these coins when they see it going up they want to buy it as soon as possible so when these coins break out even after they're down they are good opportunities to look to buy and you can see that it bounced off the 50 percent I, I probably wouldn't have got into that trade um let's have a look if i would have bought that yeah, I'm not sure if I would have uh, had the chance to get into this trade, but it's a brilliant, again, if I was trading cryptocurrencies, I'd definitely be keeping an eye out for Tron, because Tron is one of those coins that can just go on a ripper. Um, right, so two coins that I, I would like to talk to you about is DLT, uh, Agrello. So keep an eye out for Agrello, guys. If it can stay above, I would say about the 50% level, and over this resistance, I don't think it will because, again, it's like a breakout and there's a lot of foam around it. If it can close above this level or uh, uh, around that level, then I would be looking for another bounce. And even if it doesn't, there could be po uh, possibilities to play bounces. So one of the places that I'd look to play a bounce is kind of the moving averages around there when it drops. So that could be a level to buy. You could draw your fib ranges and look for the 618. That's where it looks to drop sometimes. Yeah. So around that level, you could kind of, if you look to try and, I, I don't usually play this trade. I haven't, I haven't got the time and they're quite risky trades to play, but you can ladder in if you like a Grella as a long-term project. That could be a way to buy. Um, I will probably make another detailed video on this, but this is probably the best looking uh, crypto chart at the moment. Chainlink. And it is because, you know, we talk about support and resistances. If you look to the left of this chart, there's no resistances. It's had a blue sky breakout and it's held its support quite well. You can see that it's always held its support really well. So um, I am I am in this position. I'm, I have bought some, but I've bought some near the top. So I haven't bought any there. If I, if I had bought some earlier, that would have been great. Um, so yeah, I'm in a position. I'm slightly ahead. Uh, if I, if you want to look into buy this, um, one level to look for is I will draw a line for you. So if it goes below this level, I would get out. Um, I've bought just above there, so I'm in a profit profit for now. Um, but if it breaks below this level, so I would have my stop loss. Never have your stop loss there because people might be looking for your stop loss. Have your stop loss just slightly below, maybe here below that swing or to be safer, maybe even below there. But yeah, this chart is looking great. Um, I would, like I said, look to buy pullbacks. There's not much resistance. That that was another opportunity for someone to buy. So this chart is looking good. This is probably one of the best chart that I found uh, for any any cryptocurrency. So if you are looking to buy any coins i would recommend again this is not financial advice guys make sure you do your own analysis i'll post this on twitter as well guys i do like this chart i'll post this chart on twitter as well um but yeah do look this is a coin that i, I mean fundamentally i don't know anything about chain links i'll be honest i would probably do a bit more research but tech from a technical analysis point of view this chart is looking good and that is what i'm and talking to you guys about so guys i hope you've enjoyed that video um if you have enjoyed it guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and um, i'd really appreciate your support because it does take a uh, lot of time for me to analyze these coins and talk to you about but i love 
I love technical analysis. I love cryptocurrency. So um, I really enjoy doing doing this. So I hope you got something out of it. Um, let me know what sort of videos you want. Do you want me to do a bit more tutorial videos? Do you want me to analyze coins? Let me know in the comment sections below, and and I will make sure that I subscribe. Um, I, I make those videos for you. Um, I would like to make this channel a bit more helpful, not just talking about coins going to the moon. Um, there's lots of channels that do talk about that. I, I'd like to talk some cryptocurrency see fundamental news and some technical analysis as well I'd like to keep a mixture so thank you very much guys i hope you've enjoyed that so smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp giveaway i'm close to i think 2000 subscribers now so i'll be doing another giveaway at my 2000 subscribers so make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button leave your xrp address if you want to win some xrp and i will see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much